Alright folks, Pachinis88, we are back. My criminal case on Facebook. Let's head on to the next case. We're headed over to Maple Heights. Ace, I'm still reeling from everything that happened with the cult. To think that it was all a front to get money for that crooked tech company, Dreamline. Dreamline CEO Rosetta Pierre claims plausible deniability, but she must have known all the plan was to have the cult members kill themselves after giving them all their money. At least we stopped that from happening, and Rosetta's ally from the cult is in jail. What I'd really like to know is what Grayson meant when he said that the Dreamlight satellite that fell in the forest wasn't a satellite at all. Yeah, I'd like to know that too, but I'm afraid something more urgent has come up. The mayor's ordered us to go to Maple Heights. Public safety's at risk. Interesting. Hey Chief, why are we in Maple Heart Heights? Is it about the flood? I know the whole area has gone underwater since the earthquake. Heard it's changed the shape of the land quite drastically. Well yeah, the flood is quite impressive. And it's part of the reason we're here, because some aquatic creature has appeared in the flood waters. It's not yet clear if the fish is dangerous, but the mayor doesn't want to take any risk with the residents' lives. Apparently, they've demanded police protection. Wait, protection from fish? Chief, with all due respect, the only fish I ever dealt with was my guppy when I was five, and we're not animal patrol here. No, but it's our job to ensure public safety. Besides, you know how demanding the wealthy residents of Maple Heights can get. Speaking of wealthy rev residents, remember Lola Valles, Ace, the singer superstar you met last time you were in Grimsboro? She called and she said there was a body floating in her garden. Well, in that case, that takes first priority. Take Jones and investigate Lola's garden at once. Nice. I have not seen Lola in forever. Shoot, I thought Lola... I thought she was in one of the later ones, like Pacific Bay. that wallet rose bush it's not a rose bush there's a rose bush love satellite dish and the wallet where's the wallet Ace, I can't believe how muddy this place is. It's completely flooded, and there is a man, man's body floating in the water. And look, he's been tied up with a rope. This is no drowning victim. He was murdered. Yes, I told you, Secret Agent Ace. I had to call you. I remembered you from before, and only you can help. That's a clue right there, for sure. The bites. I have no clue who this guy is or why he ended up here. You need to take him away. We'll, we'll get right on that, Miss Velez. We'll also need to talk to you in a moment. I'm well, almost no help in telling us who our victim is, Ace, but this wallet clearly has his ID in it. Apparently, our victim's name is Jordan Co Cope Prolite. I agree, we better search his wallet for additional clues. The victim seemed to be clutching his glove, which can't be his. He's wearing a different glove. So the glove must be the killers. The victim delivered us a clue to their own murder. Let's take a sample of that stuff inside. We gotta try and keep our head above water in this case, Ace. Oh, well, that's right. They've added new levels. Alright guys, I'm gonna go grab some stars. See you guys right back. Some Pachinis88. Au revoir. Alright folks, Pachinis88. We're back. Let's go talk to Lola Velez. Oh, Secret Agent Ace, did you remove the body? Do you know why it ended up in my garden? The investigation has just begun, Miss Velez, so why don't you tell us how you found the body? Well, I had to evacuate because of this dreadful flood, but today I came back to get an outfit for an interview about my new album, and that body was just floating in my garden. 
bad enough that everything is a mess because of this disgusting flood, but my once beautiful, gorgeous garden is now ruined. My clothes have to be practical instead of fashionable. And now a body? How am I supposed to deal with all these horrors? You say you don't recognize the victim, but maybe you know his name, Jordan C Coprolite? I have no idea who he is, the great genius, but I find it very inconsiderate of him to have washed up here. All right, if anything else is important washes up, please call us. But he definitely looks like he's a photographer. So a celebrity photographer could be what he is. And she would definitely know him at that point. Looks like your victim's wallet still has tons of stuff in it despite its aquatic journey, including that loyalty club card for a restaurant. The elephant in the room. Wait, I've heard about it. It's supposed to be an upscale Indian restaurant. You're right, Ace. The victim was a loyal restaurant customer. We should check it out for clues. Or maybe some samosas. Are samosas are those cookies? That's true. Suspects would usually lie to me all the time. Ace, the same picture from the coach club will provide a lead. Let's send it to Rupert. so pretty. What's that delicious smell? I should bring Zoe here on one of our dates. And yeah, you're right, Ace. Let's concentrate on our investigation. What did you find? On this table, Flacker has her victim's name on it. There seems to be another name. Let's uncover it. And what's this broken frame? Fixing it might provide a lead. Let's get started, Ace. Some people's first instincts are just to hide whatever. Eating contest, what the heck? I would not have guessed that. Ace, that's our victim. Seems like he won this year's curry eating competition organized by the chef. Maybe Anuj Ghosh will have more to tell us about our victim. Let's go talk to him. He doesn't have any bite marks on him, so my guess is he's not uh, the murderer. placard was saving a table for our victim and his wife, one Aubrey Coprolite. Here we go again. Hey, it's time to contact Miss Coprolite and tell her the bad news. Welcome to my restaurant, Sir Agent Ace. We're one of the few open during the flood. Lucky for you, because our food is delicious. Well, sadly, we're not here to eat. We just want to ask a question about one of your customers, Jordan Coprolite. He was this year's curry competition winner, and he does have bites on him. Ah, yes, Mr. Coprolite, a regular. He loves my pork vindaloo. He actually booked a table, but never turned up. Yeah, I'm afraid that's easily explained. He's been murdered. A what? How am I supposed to keep a business going with floods and murders going on? I don't know, man. Aubrey Coprolite, members of PD, I'm afraid we have some bad news about your husband. Oh dear, is it drugs? Wait, no. Drugs? Oh, Jordan struggles with them. I thought if he hadn't come home, it'd either be because of another photo shoot, or because he's a great photographer, you know, or a drug relapse. Well, no, we're afraid he's been murdered. 
Wait, murder? Oh, my poor Jordan. Just as he was getting over drugs, too. We are going to adopt a child and start a family. We were going to be so happy. We'll let you grieve in peace, Miss Corporal Light. I'm sorry for your loss. Hey, so I must say, I thoroughly disapprove of floods. If I wanted dampness and mold, I would have stayed in London. Well, at least our precinct is dry, Rupert. Why don't you tell Ace what you found from that sample? It came from the killer's glove. Ah, oh, yes. Analyzing the hair proved to be quite the diversion, because it's horse hair. Further examination showed traces of hair tape, the kind used to tie the horse's tail during a polo match. Your killer must participate in the sport, given that they left horse hair behind. Well, our killer may enjoy playing polo, but they'll stop horsing around once you, you put them behind bars. Well, Ace, interestingly enough, your victim found in the flood. Drowning wasn't the cause of death. The victim was hit in the abdomen, probably with some kind of baseball bat. The blow bursted his internal organs, causing him to die within minutes. Holy crap, that's a pretty aggressive hit. And I'm guessing then the killer tied the victim's feet to the stone and threw him in the water, hoping to conceal the crime. Exactamente. The body was carried away by the floods, only to wash up where you found it. According to the hemorrhages and the skin's water damage, I can tell you he's been dead for 24 hours. I tried to find out more, but 24 hours in the water is a long time. It's impossible to retrieve any forensic information on a killer. But I did have a closer look at the way your victim was tied to that stone, Ace. And to have the rope securely fastened in this way, your killer has to be a knot expert. Where are they? Well, they'll be tying themselves in the knots when they realize Ace is on their trail. But don't. Well, and to be fair, I mean, you could just YouTube or Google how to tie a knot and figure it out. Ace, we're getting ourselves into deep water with this investigation. The photographer was killed, Jordan was killed by a bullet of the stomach, then tied to a stone and thrown into the flood. The body ended up in Superstar Lola Velez's garden, but she didn't even know our victim. His wife told us he was a recovering drug addict. She feared a relapse when Jordan didn't come home. She seemed genuinely grieved by the death of her husband. Such a tragic story. We need to find Jordan Cor Jordan's killer, but we are. How are we supposed to find anything useful as murder? The floods is most likely to wash all away all the evidence. Haste, do I have news for you? What is it, Kathy? I know your victim was killed. That's going to be helpful. I will see you guys. In chapter two, it's been Pitching's Idiot. We'll burn out.